Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. The family of the British businessman Neil Haywood, who was murdered in Chongqing in November 2011, is finally breaking their silence and demanding compensation for Haywood's death. In a letter to the Wall Street Journal, Haywood's mother, Anne, says she is doing this on behalf of Haywood's two children, who are now 8 and 12 years old. Haywood was the family's sole breadwinner, and she says that the children's futures are uncertain without their father. Haywood's wife, a Chinese national, is believed to be living with their children in Beijing and is now threatening to sue Gu Kai Lai, the woman who was indicted for Haywood's murder. Gu has been given a death sentence with a two-year suspension, which most people think will probably turn into life behind bars. Under Chinese law, the family should have long been compensated by Gu, but they feel that no progress is being made. The British embassy said that it has been in contact with Chinese officials and has raised the family's concerns on a number of occasions, but with no tangible results. If you don't know about the whole Neil Haywood scandal, here's a brief history. Neil Haywood was born and raised in the UK, but moved to China in the 1990s after studying international relations at Warwick University. Around that time, he met Gu Kai Lai and her husband, Bo Xi Lai, the recently ousted politician. Gu was a lawyer by trade, but closed her firm in 2007 after Bo became the Communist Party's chief of Chongqing. Gu's relationship with Haywood is not too clear, but we do know that he handled some of her business and possibly business that she didn't want made known. In her trial, Gu accused Haywood of threatening her son over property deals in France and Chongqing, which friends close to Haywood say is highly unlikely. Gu admitted to poisoning the British man, but not before bribing local authorities to cover it up. Four policemen were arrested for helping Gu cover the evidence and were given between 5 to 11 years in prison. Now, what makes Haywood's mother's statement so interesting is that though there is all this attention on Haywood's death, the family has refused to speak to the media, even when it became clear Haywood was murdered. And Haywood said she had previously kept her silence, not wanting to cause unnecessary embarrassment for Chinese officials. But as it became clear that his death was a murder and part of a high-level cover-up, she decided to speak out. In her statement, she says that she hopes Chinese officials will show, quote, decisiveness and compassion towards her grandchildren before the trial of Bo Xilai and to mitigate the consequences of a terrible crime. Gu's husband, Bo Xilai, is set to stand trial soon, possibly in the next month, for charges of corruption, abuse of power, and other misdeeds. There is speculation that Bo may have been involved in similarly murky business as his wife, but his ousting was more for political reasons. To learn more about Bushy Light and his fall from grace, you can check out other run list videos we did right here. So what do you think of all this? Are you surprised that the family would have remained silent for so long? What would you have done in their case? And what do you think this means for people who do business in China? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below.